Happy Tuesday. Uh, yesterday we were thinking about trials. Uh, James 1 opens, consider it all joy when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith um, can produce endurance. And after reading the passage, I said, uh, look, James doesn't justify what's going on. He goes right to the opportunity that's there. And I talked a little bit about the book of Job and said, uh, if you're struggling, if there are trials in your life, um, one of the things that you need to see is that there's a possibility here for you to get better. So today I want to make uh, a different point, somewhat related. Um, I want to note that um, as unpopular as this is, you should expect trials and struggles. You should expect hardships and headaches. You should expect hassles. You should expect life to be difficult. There is absolutely no reason to expect otherwise. This passage says, uh, consider it all joy when you encounter various trials. It doesn't say if you encounter various trials. Uh, we get a similar kind of thing in 1 Peter chapter 4. In verse 12, Peter says, Dear friends, do not be surprised at the painful trial you are suffering, as though some strange thing was happening. Psalm 34, 19 reads, Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Uh, Jesus said in the Gospels, If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. Suffering strikes us as odd. It should not. In the 1980s, uh, Scott Peck burst onto the scene in this book, The Road Less Traveled, um, loved by some, hated by others. But uh, it rocketed to the top of the best-selling list, opening, and, and not just opening, but really sort of consistently reinforcing an idea that you would think every 10-year-old would have figured out by now, and that is, that life is difficult. That's the first line. Life is difficult. Um, those who accept the fact that life is difficult find that it's far less difficult. Those who do not make up the neurotic. There is not one person in the Bible who didn't have trials. There's not one person in the New Testament that didn't have trials. Starting with Jesus and including Peter, James, and John. Troubles are inevitable. No one is exempt from suffering and loneliness, discouragement, or unjust criticism. When you expect these things, they become a whole lot easier to deal with. Let me end with a story. I heard about a young kid. His father was watching him play. Uh, uh, well, okay, this is one of my kids. I won't even try and hide this, but I'm watching one of my boys play football. This is, you know, peewee league, whatever they called it. First time they're in pads, and uh, they sort of still don't know the game. And uh, so one of my sons is on defense and he's chasing this guy. Uh, they're running down the sideline, he's chasing this guy. He's just getting ready to make a tackle when uh, somebody <laughs> blocks him. And, uh, and so he comes over to the sideline and I, you know, I'm talking to him and he says, he goes, that was rude. And I said, what was rude? He goes, I was about to tackle that guy and I was rudely pushed out of the way. <laughs> and I said, uh, dude, that's called a block. That's the whole game. He goes, it was rude. And I said, well, you should expect a lot of rude behavior uh, in the game of football. So uh, you should expect a lot of rude behavior in the game of life. Hang in there. Consider it all joy when you encounter various trials. Have a good day.